As melting ice in Antarctica exposes land beneath it, the chain of processes set off may be capable of causing the sheet to collapse, according to a study in Nature Geoscience. Researchers looked at Earth 13 to 17 million years ago, when carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and global temperatures reached levels similar to those experienced by the end of this century, and said when ice sheets melt, the exposed land beneath is less reflective, so local temperatures become warmer. This can drastically alter weather patterns because Antarctic winds usually blow from the continent out to the sea, but if the continent warms up, that could be reversed, with winds blowing from the cooler sea to the warmer land. That would bring additional rainfall to the Antarctic, which in turn would cause more fresh water to run into the sea, according to a University of Exeter news release on Eureka Alert. Finally, because fresh water is less dense than salt water, it is less likely to sink and circulate, which means warmer water simply sits on top of the ocean, causing more warming. In line with that explanation, the study found that reductions in the area covered by ice sheets was far more important in creating further ice loss than reductions in ice volume, because the more land is exposed, the more warming processes are encouraged. The study's lead author explained that, essentially, if more land is exposed in Antarctica, it becomes harder for a large ice sheet to reform. However, when this happened previously, it's possible that favorable orbital positions prevented a collapse. Earth's positioning relative to the sun caused the ice sheet to advance and retreat, and this altered weather patterns, and helped preserve, rather than melt, the ice in that instance.